Okay, today I am joined by Dave Betts, who is the treasurer at Emmanuel. Welcome, mm. Dave. Bill, welcome. Thanks for having me. Okay, so tell me, how's the family holding up? How, how's everybody doing? Well, I would say cabin fever is starting to set in a little bit. Uh, everyone's uh, everyone's got a, a reply to someone else's comment. You know, we, we're starting to get a little ping pong effect. But uh, <laughs> I think for the most part, we're beyond blessed. Uh, my job hasn't been affected much. Uh, so any any problems we have are just annoyances. They're, they're, they're not any kind of uh, anything serious. So, you know, we're hanging in there. Okay. Oh, and Sassy is reminding me how good her cooking has been, which is true. Okay. Uh, what what, come out what of meal? What, what's the go-to meal that you've had? Gosh, what is her, she'll, you know, the, 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 the casseroles, uh, she'll do stir fries, um, you know, like a flank steak, uh, just crazy good stuff. Uh, you, know, she, she, you know, she does have a um, culinary arts degree. Really? Uh, yeah. So, you know, it's amazing I'm not uh, a lot heavier than I am because uh, she, she is a great cook. Yeah. Well, it looks like I've been eating her meals the way I <laughs> Yeah, you and me both, bro. <laughs> So now you've done a great job with like doing the Tidely things and stuff like yeah. that. How did you discover Tidely? Right. So uh, Christine Fernandez, at the time, it was Christine Neitzel. Okay. Uh, came to me and, and one of her, another one of her colleagues came to me and said, hey, they gave me a little pamphlet and they said, look, here's an example of what, what's that Catholic church right behind our church? Rose. Um, whatever but they gave me an example of a or something. of an electronic giving platform that another church handed out to their congregation and they said to me we need to do this so i kind of looked at it and um um through my involvement with um uh, lisa wattis's lost and found where where i'm i'm with young professionals like you know 20s and stuff i realized yeah we need this electronic giving platform because those those kids don't have checkbooks. Like they don't, they don't do checks. Right. So I, I really realized, Oh, okay. So anyway, so that's how I came to know about it. Um, uh, Christine Fernandez came to me and said, we need to do this. So once she, once she said that I embarked on a, on a full research of, all right, what are all the electronic giving platforms, the different ones? What are the pluses, the minuses, how much do they cost? So I put a big, uh, you know, big comparison together took it to the uh, church uh, board of deacons and uh, I made a recommendation for Tithely and um, uh, you know, we've never looked back since. I, and I still maintain it's a, or, you know, I, I believe then it was the, it was the best service and I still maintain that it was, it's a great service. Uh, I'm really happy. With it. Uh, so people can still like send in checks to the office though, right? Yes. So our untechnologically. Yes. We have people who physically deliver their own checks to the office. We have people who mail uh, checks uh, to the office. We have people who use their bank's bill pay system and just, uh, you know, mail uh, a check to the office. So, yes, if you're not on the um, Untidly, no problem. Uh, your your focus then is on 233 East Main Street, Milkshade, New Jersey, 082. 52? Five two, I think that. I, oh, I think yeah, I, don't what, I don't know. I don't live in Maple Shade. I'm not like ninety percent of the church. I, I think it is 08052. Uh, IBCLife.org. We have our address there. Or <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. We're doing a terrible job for the church, but you know what? It's all good. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, anybody that's actually uh, you know not technologically sound probably isn't watching this video anyway. So <laughs> yeah, good, good point. That's probably a good point. Yeah, they may not even be watching. So so. Uh, so you brought up Christine. So her husband. Yes. You, you've shot. Uh, you've gone to the firing range and, and shot some shotguns. Is that is that what I hear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So back in the day, um, it was actually Nate Cranefeld. He said, "Hey, let's go. Let's go shoot some trap at this really fancy, uh, you know, trap shooting place." I said, all right, let me, you know, you know, let's get a couple people that don't, don't usually get out uh, and shoot guns. And um, I call, you know, I, I gave Alex a call. I said, hey, why don't you come out, you know, we'll shoot guns and just have a good time. He's like, yeah. And uh, yeah. And, and now he actually just recently, he, he called me and said, yeah, I got, he, he got a hunter's license. 
So he's got his hunting license. He went out, uh, went through the course, got his hunting hunting license, and uh, so you know now he's a hunter. My, he has a license to hunt anyway. Yeah. My my sister just got us. Uh, now I, I I don't fire guns. I'm I'm kind of a wimp. But my sister got us for Christmas. The kids and I uh, hatchet throwing. Like, oh yeah, you yeah. Know, we're gonna do I, that. I did that once. Yeah, we we were planning on doing it, and then this all shut down. So <sighs> yeah. we you know we have Pretty our fun. tickets, but we haven't done it yet. So yeah, you know. Soon enough, I hope you'll be able to get in there and uh, throw your hatchets. Throw yeah. a hatchet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty fun. I, I did that. It was it was a lot of it was a lot of fun. Absolutely. I mean, I I hope so. Um, so while you're stuck in the house, have you watched? Do you watch TV, movies, anything like that? Okay, so I'm 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 definitely a news junkie. Okay. So that's good. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's good anymore. But I was gonna say it's good and bad. But uh, I, I I watch a lot of news. Okay. Uh, but I've been. I've been purposely uh, carving back, you know, holding back a little bit just because, just because too much of that is, is too much. Right. Yeah, right. Uh, so I'm also picking away at some movies that I recorded on my DVR. Okay. I'm trying to think, um, I think it was over Christmas when okay. Sam was home from Rowan university over Christmas break, he recorded some shows off of like, uh, I don't know, one of those those 550 some channels where they, they, they're playing movies like I can't remember the I don't even know what the what the channels are. But the, if, if you go through the guide, they, they appear as red and they're playing movies from like, you know, 2003, 2005, 2010 stuff I've never seen that just just good old action movies. So so probably about two months ago, I recorded about 10 of those. Oh, like like the Expendables okay yeah, yeah you know just crazy stuff like that so i recorded like 10 of those i'm just kind of picking wonder woman was in there uh the the uh you know captain america just that kind of stuff yeah action hero just just boy movies so i, I recorded a bunch of those and i've been picking away at those okay okay cool. yeah yeah cool so news and, and and then a few a few of those movies well uh, i'm glad he recorded them and did that and <laughs> You said he's back from Rowan. Ethan just got accepted to Rowan, so oh, fantastic! He'll, he'll be going there for some engineering coming Great. up. So if, Great. Well, Sam's if we're around ever around. allowed to get out of the the house, yeah. exactly. we'll go to exactly. Rowan. I'm sure next next fall. Well, I hope so. Who knows? You know, whatever. But if he, if, yeah. Anyway, Sam will be flopping around there. If, if the campus is open, Sam can't wait to go back. I mean, we're it's fine. He's he's working ro remotely now. It's fine. But you know, yeah. he he wants to get back with all the kids. Right. Okay, so this part we like to call Would You Rather, which I have my Eagles hat here, which has in it different Would You Rather questions. So I right. randomly just pick out of the hat here a Would You Rather question for you. And your question is, okay, yours is deep. Some of these are like, would you eat your nail clippings or whatever? But <laughs> if you could travel back, uh, no. A, travel in time and meet your great-great-grandparents, or B, travel in time and meet your great-great-grandchildren, what would you do? Oh, my. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. You got a tough one. Yeah. Um, so, look, anything we do, we need to do for the Lord, right? Right. So... Would it be more effective to witness to my great 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 grandparents or my great great? You know what I would say. This may or may not be true or not, but the way, the rate at which the world seems seems to be spinning away from, you know, from from God's will in general, I think it probably I, maybe it's more effective for me to witness to my great 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 grandchildren. Okay, say, I'm. Great, 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 grandpa from the from the past. You gotta listen to me. Listen to me. Anyway, may, I, I'll go with the great, 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 great grandchildren. That'd be amazing to see too. Can you imagine that? Oh my gosh, so weird. And, and, uh, and I, I once saw a comedian. I don't remember who it is. So I like to always give credit. I don't know who it is, but they said about how could you tell them that you were from the past? They'd be like, "Well, tell me about it. Like, can you show me anything?" And would be like, "Yeah, I, I actually can't do anything really cool." Like. <laughs> if I had this, we had a thing where we, we talk, 
you know, it would just be, so who was the president? Well, it was President Trump. They're like, okay, well, yeah, well, we know that too. They're like, okay, well, I, I really don't have many. Right, right. Oh, yeah. You have to yeah. show them like an artifact. Yeah, like any proof. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't prove it. Like, here's um, a Star Wars ticket. It's like, yeah, no, we're, we're still going to Star Wars too. It's like, oh, okay. You know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so um, changing gears. So we talk about back in the day. Let's go with, so I had you play drums for yeah. me when, in that play that I, one of the plays uh, that I wrote in drums. Yeah, 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 I remember that way, long, way, way back. Yeah. So Googling uh, Dave Betts, because that's how we kind of, we tried to deep dive or whatever. Oh, it, interesting. Yeah. So did you know that there's another Dave Betts who actually- Drummer. Drummer. Yes. From the Honeymooners. Honeymoon Suite. Oh, okay, okay. The honeymoon suite. Yeah, I, I know. I, I knew. I, I, I knew that. I okay. liked. I liked their music too. It's like, it's sha na na na. Hey, hey, hey. Good, right? No, no, no. That's not them. That's uh, oh man. Just, oh, but they did the theme song to Lethal Weapon the movie, and they did two big songs in Miami Vice. That was. Okay. Their, that's but I am movie. familiar with that. Yeah. I, yeah. So I was just like, whoa, that's that's crazy. That was yeah. Fun my deep dive of uh, trying to find out more. And I was like, wow. So besides drumming, what's another talent that we don't know about? Because you, you you can drum still. I mean, maybe you're not yeah, you're I Ethan had, or whatever, but you can drum. Yeah, I know. I did, I did a lot when I was younger. Um, um, let me think here. Well, you know, I had the opportunity to live abroad growing up. So I speak, I speak some Portuguese, you know, like I, I lived in Brazil for seven years. So I, I do, I, I can speak Portuguese pretty well at a conversational level, right? I, I can't, I'm not too, too not tight with the language, but I, I can speak some. Um, so like I have the vocabulary of a typical 18 year old because when I, I left Brazil when I was 18, okay. so my, my, you know, my knowledge of the language cut right there. So when I speak in Portuguese, it's like, man, the guy talks like an 18 year old, you know what I mean? Because that's all I know. Um, People say I talk like an eighteen-year-old. <laughs> right, 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 that's right, just right. the mental capacity. Right, uh, I feel more like a toddler, and, but yeah. And then any other talents? Not really. So what's kind of funny though on the drum on the drum uh, theme there and the music, um, I I decided because because Sam like Sam has been playing guitar for a couple of years now and he, he's getting really good, and uh, so I said, all right. Oh, he came to me. He said, hey, Dad, you know Fender. Fender Play is giving away, like, I don't know, three months free. I said, like, what's Fender Play? And they're like, it's free guitar lessons. So I was like, really? So anyway, I've been, I've been playing, I've been doing that for like the last couple of weeks. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, you know, kind of getting back to the guitar again. Like I used to play guitar too. Oh, okay. Uh, and then I switched to drums early on. So, I, but I, I can do a little bit with guitar and now I'm kind of, you know, playing, but I wouldn't call that a talent yet. Yeah. I, I, Let's, let's do this again in five years. Then maybe I can say, yeah, I play guitar, but not, I'm not ready for that yet. Okay, fair so enough. the foreign language. Sorry. Right. Well, I'll, that's hey, pretty boring. You, you beat me by like 10 talents on that. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Um, so kind of changing gears here, kind of wrapping up a little bit. Who's a person of faith that inspires you? A person of faith that inspires Well, look. I, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to be obvious, but certainly both are pastors. I mean, I, I can honestly say that I can say like the, the deacon board too. I mean, as dumb as that may sound and, but it's true because what I think is wonderful for me is that sure. I can say, you know, Billy Graham, I can say, uh, you know, uh, David Jeremiah, Charles Stanley. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Uh, I can say all these great guys, but I don't, I don't even have to leave Maple Shade where like a guy like Gary Horvath, you know, who's a friend of mine who just like when I, when I consider Gary, the dedication he has to his wife, Kathy, when I look at him and when I look at their, his children, how godly his children are, when I look at Marshall Supli and, and, and I consider uh, Marshall and Teresa and I look at their kids and how, how godly they are, I consider them people of faith that I can look up to and, 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 and they're right. They go, they go to my church and they're in my community. And I, I think that's wonderful. And I, I think there's many examples like that. Uh, again, like when I spend time with them and I get, I look at their kids and 
they what they pass down into their kids is an exact you know is the example that makes them you know that really um, you know, you know kind of shows off their faith for the Lord uh, because they they've they've uh, infused that into their kids and so it's authentic and I, I think it's wonderful I, I can just I, I have uh, people I look up to spiritually right here in, in my in my neighborhood or in in, in my community so yeah. Well, that's I think awesome. it, yeah that's that's what so, I think that so what's something that we can pray for you for oh boy um here's my toughest question that's my yeah I gosh you know I that's my 60 minutes question yeah <laughs> um well I would say you know I, I guess for my family you know pray for Josh that um um yeah that we just have wisdom and how we uh, help josh every day sometimes you know just give us patience give us uh, perseverance um i pr pray for for my son sam to learn and gain the tools and understanding he's going to need to be successful in life and to um uh you know and, and just more inspiration to uh, uh to follow the lord uh, and for just uh, continued uh, success for Sassy, um, you know, uh, continued blessing on her as, as she's a wonderful housewife and mother. Yeah, I, I think really just for my family. If you would pray for, pray for me and my family, uh, I, I think uh, I would be blessed with that. Uh, absolutely. And then on the last thing, here we go. This is, this is your big moment. What would you like to say to Emmanuel? What would I like to say to Emmanuel? Yeah, yeah, no, you got to be nice. You can't, you can't yeah. be like oh. how you normally are. No. Oh, family of Emmanuel, may yes. you be blessed. Um, you have blessed me, uh, the, the, the pastors, certainly my friends there that I've mentioned. Um, uh, seek ye first the kingdom of God and everything else uh, shall fall into place. Uh, I just pray that, you know, see, let us seek the Lord first. Uh, let us remember what we have in Christ, the fullness that we have in Christ. Uh, and let's just keep on getting on because I think we're doing great. Um, I, I'm blessed there. I'm happy there. Um, I praise the Lord for you, the family of Emmanuel. Uh, what, a, what a wonderful church. Uh, yeah, what a wonderful church. I, I praise the Lord for all, for all of you. Agreed. Well, thanks for joining us. It was You're a pleasure. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Ah, you know we wanted to. So you take it easy, and we'll talk to you around. Bill, thanks a million. Take care. Right. Bye.